Sometimes I feel like I don't know who I am anymore compared to who I thought I was. And yet I feel myself with I am in a bigger way, in a, in a more expansive way. Um, so there's a lot of letting go um, and being filled with um, a sense of trust in that. That's a really important aspect of what happens. I'm detaching from myself. I'm detaching from having this uh, identity that's specific. I'm detaching from uh, the need to control what I can and trusting that I am flowing with this source. I am detaching from judgment of others, of myself. I feel it's a constant emptying, kind of, kind of a constant self-emptying and just letting go, letting go, letting go. Again, trying to make something happen is an ego thing, right? So letting go of that ego is, I'm going to trust that the more I do this, the more I let go, the more the self lets go. So it's within that context of relationship. And that's all I know so far. What I've learned so far is that for me, in, it is not a matter of uh, effort and trying. I'm going to let go of myself. <laughs> Um, it's quite the opposite. And the scary part, the scary part is, is to be able to, is to just do the work of sitting and trusting that love that is there, that I feel this, uh, that I'm sitting with, and, and the letting go because the more I try to strive to do something, I cannot have an agenda. In those moments, there is no agenda other than the love. And I have found that it is that love that transforms. It is that love that I am receiving that transforms my heart, that transforms who I am, who wants to to try to make things happen, and even if I'm going to make myself let go, you know, the, the love itself transforms and softens me and allows me to let go in a very gentle way, in a way that I can handle. If I just understand myself as a body, I don't have to stretch my consciousness very far. You know, I'm Fred and Sally's boy. I'm George's cousin. There's no stretch going on there. But if I grasp that I have a body, but that I am not my body, I, I have this body, but I choose a relationship to this body. And I have these thoughts but I'm not these thoughts. I choose a relationship to these. I have these feelings. I have these feelings that are real. But I'm not my feelings. I choose a relationship to these feelings. And at a certain level, we are delivered to something that is a whole lot closer to our essential reality which we're going to talk about is flow. Something that is dynamic and is present and is forever. And when I essentially connect with that, then I connect with a reality that goes far beyond this thought, that feeling, this body. And in the first instance, when we think about relationships, 
the first level of that is what we would talk about in popular culture is attitude. But it goes a whole lot deeper. And when you and I begin to stumble, however, into this consciousness, we begin to become aware of our awareness. We begin to notice our noticing. And at a deeper level, it's sort of like you walk into the, how, the, the room of mirrors at the circus. You know those mirrors where you look into them and, and, and the mirrors of mirrors of mirrors? We begin to connect with a consciousness of our consciousness of our consciousness. Sit with that for a moment. It's what Mr. Kierkegaard was inviting us to explore. And the thing is about relation, the relationships as a dynamic is not very romantic. This is not a pretty word. There are a lot of other prettier words to talk about depth that sort of leave us with a fuzzy consciousness. The nice thing about Mr. Kierkegaard's insight is that it potentially can give us some clarity. Not clarity that we're going to have it figured out, but clarity that I don't have it figured out, I will never have it figured out, and that's as figured out as I'm going to get it. And I get that, that I don't get it. You get it? That's it. Relationships are invisible. And yet, when everybody you know encounters you, paradoxically, the you they encounter is those invisible relationships that you choose. Relationships are interior. They are chosen in the depth of my consciousness inside this physical body. Relationships are intimate. There is nothing more personal. And relationships are infinite. Because when I consciously choose a relationship, the finite and the infinite connect. The journey of trust is calling me to explore a personal identity much deeper than the who am I question I perpetually consider psychologically, emotionally, and in the context of my human relationships. Who am I is now merging into the deeper question of what am I? This essential reality is inviting me to grow beyond. This question beckons to me. Let's explore. <laughs>